How you doing everyone? Turkey Buzzard here. Hope you're having a good day. Well, I'm back here at Super Duper Mart. And uh, I was gone over the weekend. I took a little three-day vacation, so if it seemed like it took a while for me to get back to uh, some of you on those comments, I apologize. I was gone. Took a little trip uh, with family and friends. Got away for a while. But I'm back now, and it looks like the Super Duper Mart was finished while I was gone. Someone finished it. The uh, parking lot was finished. Of course, there's some still some rough spots here, but, uh, you know, it's like any parking lot I've ever driven through. Now I'm running a mod which repairs the diner here. And I figured that since Super Duper Mart is completed and getting customers that someone would take advantage of this building. So I put in an ice cream shop. Yesterday I was watching a video from Phoenix Embrace and she did a mod review on a mod called Commonwealth Pizza. And this mod was really, it's really something, something really good. And I decided I wanted it, so I went in and, uh, unfortunately, I am running so many mods that, uh, I don't have room for that mod. So I ended up putting in this ice cream shop. Now I think once I finish this playthrough I'll probably sort through my mods. Maybe get rid of a couple here and there that I don't use and make room for some Commonwealth pizza. But anyways, uh, let's check out the finished Super Duper Mart. Now I know the first uh, video I showed this area. But since I put so much work into this... I'm going to show it again. Of course, we got some different things for the lawn. Riding lawn mowers, regular lawn mowers, weed whackers. Down here we have the gardening supplies. Just about anything you need for gardening. And I also decided to put a rack for the shopping carts out here. And of course not all the shopping carts end up in the rack as you can see. Now if this place has a fire, they are prepared. So let's go inside and maybe spend a few caps. Now I never did get these automatic door openers to work from inside the vestibule so I still have to open them by hand. But it's no big deal. I broke this store down into de departments and of course this is the food aisle. And as you can see I spent some time stacking objects. And all of these objects uh, were either placed by hand, like these, and I turned them into static objects. So that if raiders come in here and there's a, you know, a bunch of shooting in here, stuff will not get knocked off the store off the shelves. You can still take items, but they can't be knocked off the shelves. Other items I placed using mods, like these food items, were placed using DFEP, which is the Decoration and Furniture Expansion Pack. So all these items can actually be placed in, and you don't have to worry about them getting knocked around. As you see, we've got shoppers here. 
This aisle I turned into electronics. As you can see we have some different computers, different sizes, radios, TVs, got some flat screens, some floor models, and some smaller ones. This is our drink coolers. And I really wish I could have got that pizza mod because they actually had honest to goodness milk in that mod. But I had to go with what I have so that's what we ended up with. Of course back here is our bathrooms. And they haven't changed. They're pretty much the same. Oops. Looks like we got some people in the men's room. We won't bother them. Oops. Looks like we've got some people in the ladies room too. Well, we'll give them their privacy. The bathrooms are pretty much the same as they were. So, And, of course, the clothing aisle has everything you need. You got your hats. You got boots and shoes. All sorts of clothing items. Back here we have some sporting goods. And of course the deli. The deli has all sorts of uh, different meats. Some nice uh, roasts here if you'd like them. And it looks like here in the bakery aisle we have a customer getting ready to buy some pie or other snacks. This is our hardware aisle. Now do you need a new Mr. Handy? We have them along with the fuel. Quite a few different items for hardware. housewares as you can see I spent uh, a good amount of time stacking items on shelves there's a few uh, medical supplies not a whole lot but uh, enough to uh, keep the customers happy Now this ATM machine, Malator suggested that I make it larger and embed it in the wall. I did blow it up, it's twice the size it was, but I could not embed it in the wall because it stuck through into the office. So that's what we ended up with on that. The service desk, how you doing? And the manager's office. Looks like the manager's busy taking care of his uh, paperwork or whatever. I would like to have added also some shelves in here on the back sides of these. But by the time I finished, I had put so much stuff in this store, I was afraid to add anything else. We've got magazines, candy and gum. Probably the most time consuming was these cigarette racks. I have a mod that turns all the cigarettes basically into camels. So, you know, any cartons of cigarettes I got, if I dropped them on the ground, 
they turned into camel cigarettes. And the only way I was able to actually get these uh, gray tortoise cigarettes was to keep the cartons of cigarettes in my inventory and place them in using OC Decorator. So there was kind of a trick to that, but it was very time consuming getting those cartons in there, the cigar boxes, all those cigarette packs. But it didn't come out bad. And of course back here we have the stock room. Someone keeping track of inventory coming in and going out. Looks like we have a truck here either ready to be unloaded or has just been unloaded. Plenty of stock back here. Don't look like we'll run low on Mr. Handy's for a while. We have someone cleaning up. Now I'm actually considering buying the PC version of this game. And if I do, I may end up doing another build like this, only larger. You know, being able to do this on PC, I would be able to build a larger store with more departments. There was some things here that I would like to have added that I didn't. Such as, uh, you know, signs for each different department, you know. Men's wear, women's wear, hardware, housewares, you know, would have been nice to have signs up in here for all those. But, uh, you know, I figured I'd press my luck enough with all these decorations. If I tried to do this with uh, Do It Yourself or Creative Clutter or another one of them mods, my game would have crashed a long time ago. But I'm really happy with the way it came out. Now this week I am not planning on doing a tips and tricks video because I've pretty much run out of uh, things to do tips and tricks videos on. So unless someone comes up with a particular request for, for something like that, I'm not planning on doing any more tips and tricks videos for a while. So I probably won't be doing another video until next week. And I'm thinking that next week I may have something to show you up at Coastal Cottage. I've never done a build there. So I think it's probably time. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, uh, please do me a favor. Hit that like button. And then stop down here and spend a few of your caps. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I put out new videos every week. But I really want to thank everybody for watching. And I'll see you again next week.